we're taking a look at our favorite pickups from the year. I know it looks like chaos, but we'll sort it all out and figure it all out right now. It's been a really solid year for pickups. So what I wanted to do with the last video of 2023 was take a look at my favorite pickups from this past year. Let's check them out. Let's start out with everything Metroid related. I picked up a bunch of different Metroid stuff this year. It was um, crazy actually. I didn't I didn't recognize how much Metroid stuff we picked up until I started going through, you know, preparing for the video. So the first thing I have is a Metroid Amiibo set. The set includes Samus and EMMI. I'm not even sure what that stands for or what that acronym is, but there you go. We picked this up. I do believe it was at a yard sale. Um, the same yard sale, in fact, that we picked up this big box copy of Metroid Dread. We have not opened this. We picked up two of these, in fact. We sold one and we kept this one. This one is unopened. and I do believe it will remain that way for quite some time. Wait, did I open this? No, I didn't open this. We picked up Metroid Prime Remastered for the Switch. This was a game that was flying off of the shelves from my understanding. So I just shot up to, to Walmart up the street here and, and they had a bunch of them, like the day that it dropped. So we picked up Metroid Prime Remastered. I played for about like four or five hours that first day, but I have not dove back into it since then. But this was one of my favorite games for that day. <laughs> no, it's a great game. I just haven't um, had the time to play as much as I want to with 2023 or in 2023. There have been a bunch of great games and this just kind of got overshadowed by some other stuff. But still a great game and I'm glad that I picked this one up this year. And the final piece of Metroidbilia, I guess we'll call it, Metroid Prime for the GameCube. I found this while traveling. I believe this was in Virginia at a yard sale and we picked this up for a buck. I don't plan to keep this, but this was just a cool thing to find while I was traveling. So Metroid Prime for the GameCube is part of like everything I picked up Metroid related this year. Now this next game, Five Nights at Freddy's, Help Wanted. This is not a game that I plan on playing, but it was still one of my favorite pickups from the year because this is a game that Button will at some point play. When I'm out here hunting for games, it's always easy to find a game that I want to play and I get excited about, of course, but um, to find one for someone else in the house is um, a, a real bonus and a plus when I'm out here hunting. It's a lot of fun to find a game and think, oh yeah, you know, the girls will like that. So this is one of those games. I have no need, desire to play this game. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't think Button will play it either, but I know she loves Five Nights at Freddy's, so I was happy to find this one. Sticking with the Switch, we have Kings of Amalur Re-Reckoning. Now I know you can't see this, and unfortunately I don't have the case, just the game. But I found this at the pawn shop, and this game I spent a lot of hours on. it. I don't play a lot of RPGs, but this is one that if you have not checked it out, I strongly suggest that you do. We also have this on the PS4, but I don't think I'm ever gonna play it on the PS4. I was playing this while traveling. Of course, that's just the benefit to the Switch. I'm confident that the load times are a lot better on the PlayStation 4, but you know, you gotta deal with it. This was this was my sleeper game of the year. I didn't I had never heard of this and not even sure why I decided to play it, but I'm very glad that I did. We have Deadpool for the PS4. We originally found this on the Xbox, uh, the Xbox One, in fact. Before we found on the Xbox One, I was on a hunt looking for it like crazy just for the PlayStation. Could have purchased it from GameStop, didn't want to, wanted to find it in the wild. Found it on the Xbox One, played through it on the Xbox One, and held on to the Xbox One copy until we found this. Now we've sold off the Xbox One copy and we're keeping this one. If you have not played Deadpool on the PS4, check it out, man. I'm surprised that this one hasn't seen a sequel because it really is that good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Manhattan. We put a few hours in on this one, and it was it's really it's really a good game. The animation is something completely different. Found two copies of this game at a pawn shop, sold off one, and it basically paid for this one. We got to keep this one for free. I do believe at the same stop we found The Last of Us and a couple other games, but I know, oh, a bunch of PSP games. And damn, why haven't I been back to that pawn shop? I gotta go back to that pawn shop. 
this year in review is like waking up some memories i gotta get back out here i will tell you though in all honesty the animation while it does look good it's a bit much for my eyes like it's just too bright i gotta dim everything stuff moves really fast that could be me just getting old god of war ragnarok for the ps5 this is another one that we found at the pawn shop for dirt cheap and just absolutely love the game I haven't checked out the new dlc let me know in the comments if you already checked that out currently playing cyberpunk so i haven't you know, jumped back to this so let me know if you if you check that out and if it's worth playing you don't have to let me know if it's worth playing i know it's worth playing santa monica don't miss definite top game of the year for me and i know it's an old game but top game that i played this year and i completely forgot that i played it until i started you know looking at the shelf and figuring out what i wanted to get for this video but yeah this is a beast of a game the story, I felt like it dragged a bit. A lot of time, I don't know, I just felt like it was dragging a little bit. And then once it, something shifted, and once it did, I was like, yo, I just want more story. Um, so it, it didn't lose me at all, but it definitely gave me a sense of like, yo, hurry up, like, let's push this along a little bit. And then for some reason, something else switched where I said, okay, this is, I like this story. It's a great story. Um, I'm rambling. Ragnarok, great one. Hellblade's newest sacrifice. This is a great game, an amazing game. Played through this a while back and then I sold it off. And then I was mad at myself for doing that. Um, but I'll, I'll be candid with you. I had got laid off and I just had to like get some bread. So I started selling off a whole bunch of the collection and Hellblade fell into that. But I found it again for like five bucks so now we're keeping this one for as long as i possibly can i was sad to hear about the sequel being an xbox exclusive i'm gonna have to find some way to, to play it if it's if it means picking up an xbox the game is for me worth it it, it really is that great of a, of a game now i do hear good things about xbox trying to put their monthly service on like different platforms i doubt that'll happen in time for me to play hellblade and i'm also a patient guy I might wait on this, but the game is that good where if it doesn't come out in say like six months to a year on PlayStation, I will pick up an Xbox just to play this game. Here's another sleeper title for me, Guardians of the Galaxy for the PS5. I did not think about playing this until someone told me in the comments, you know, check out Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a great game. You'll, you'll enjoy it. I didn't think it was going to be good, so I left it alone, but it is really fun. A good story, a ton of action. There's some funny moments in this game. Now, between this and Deadpool, these were probably the funniest games that I played this year. Didn't think this was gonna be worth playing, but it definitely is. If you have not played Guardians of the Galaxy, add this to your playlist. Let's stick with Sony for a second. I wanna show you one more thing. Is it powering on? It is this PSP Go. We picked this up from a pawn shop and I can't remember the price. I think they wanted 65. I'm not sure if that's what I paid. This PSP Go does include God of War Chains of Olympus. Let me know in the comments if you've played this game because I have not. It's on here and I just haven't gotten around to it. Now, while this is a this is a cool looking thing, maybe I can change the storage and mod it. If you know anything about that, let me know. I've been a purist for the longest time and in the sense of I don't want to modify any of these. But I, I think I would modify this. So if this is something that you know about or something you know how to how to do as far as modding. Damn. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know anything about modding these PSPs because I think I'm gonna do that. What is going on? Bruh. The way things are going right now, I've been clearing out a lot of games PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, even my PSP games. I really am looking to start collecting more of the actual handhelds, peripherals, and consoles, more so than the games. For games, I really want newer games. PS4, PS5, a Nintendo Switch, that sort of thing. But as far as systems and consoles go, I'm really going to start looking into more of these. Now, the thing about that is these things are expensive, man. People want a lot of money for these. So I'm going to have to try to find these for the low, low. Let me show you what else we got. Sticking with consoles and handhelds and all of that, 
This was a find at a yard sale. Along with some Super Nintendo games, we picked up this Nintendo 2DS that has Mario Kart 7 included. I doubt that it still holds a charge, but let's see. Oh no, I think it's powering on. Nice. Mario Kart 7 included. We paid, hmm, I want to say close to 20 bucks for this and a few other things. I'm just saying if this stuff works. Probably should have checked this uh, a while back. What are you gonna do? Another console, another handheld, something other than the game itself. This is just really cool to have. Um, so I, I really do think this is gonna be my focus for the, uh, for the next year or for whenever I start going back out here. Let's turn this off. Had some really good Mario pickups this year, that 2DS being one of them. Power off. And this Game & Watch being another. We paid 20, wait a minute, this says 35. I think we might've paid 30 for it. Um, whatever we paid, I do believe it was close to what you would pay if you got it off of eBay, um, loose. But I was, I was okay with that because I have not seen this in a while before. So to add, this was pretty cool. And I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be talking to you, but I'm literally just looking at this clock tick. Um, Let's make sure this thing still works. Super Mario, Super Mario 2, definitely still works. Classic. Let me do this, I'm not even gonna look at this, I'm just gonna look at you, watch this. Oh, I'm not good at that at all. This is something. This is something that I had never seen in the wild. So when I had an opportunity to pick it up, I gladly gave them my money <laughs> and they happily took it. Let me show you some games that I played that I really enjoyed. Keeping with the Mario theme, we picked up from the pawn shop. From the pawn shop, this still blows my mind. Super Mario 3D All-Stars for the Nintendo Switch. Man, when I tell you I paid $5 for this game and I'm still amazed. I haven't put much time into the game. I played it on a plane for about 30 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, and then I went to Kings of Amalur and I, I haven't looked back, but $5 for this game. And it goes for like 70 bucks, man. This was just a great find. Definitely one of my favorite pickups from the year, easily. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. We picked this up from Best Buy, played through it, Great game. If you do not have this, which I'm sure a lot of you probably have this under your tree for your kiddos, um, you're gonna have a good time with this. Add it to the Mario collection from this year. We had a lot of good Mario pickups, man. Matter of fact, let me show you something else real quick. I just thought about this. Let me grab some. I'm not even all the way sure what this is. I don't know if it's just like a pencil pouch or what, but we paid a dollar for this at a yard sale, a Super Mario Brothers something or another. Um, but again, more Mario stuff, which was cool. Um, we picked up a whole bunch of Mario figures, which was just like the craziest thing because I found most of them at Ross and Walgreens. Let's run through it, okay? All this Mario stuff is what we picked up this year. All right, let's start with this right here. We picked up this Yoshi. I think we might have paid a quarter for it, maybe 50 cents. I don't even remember. It was at a yard sale. A Horror Pad Mini. It's a Super Mario controller for the Switch. I believe we found this at Ross. Um, I don't see the sticker on here. I must have taken it off, taken it off. So I don't remember what it cost, but we picked this up this year. Right, we picked up a bunch of Super Mario Oreos. Um, not a bunch. I picked up two packs. Some fat kid ate one pack, and then I was able to to wrestle this pack from that fat kid and save it. A bunch of Mario figures. We have this one. Um, what the hell is this? Fire Mario from Ross. We paid four bucks for that. I don't see a price tag on this one, but we have a Paragoomba. Um, I don't even know what we paid for it. We also have Chain Chomp, Wendy. I hope, you're, I hope I'm not going too fast, you can just see that. We have regular plain Mario. We have another regular plain Mario and White Yoshi. Uh, there's a standard cart here. I think there's a Ouija card around here somewhere. I'm not even sure. I don't know where that is though. But this is the bone piranha plant. This was five bucks. This was also at Ross. 
Right, there's the tag right there. And I think that's it. I think that's it, Mario. Oh, this was my favorite controller pickup from this year. Uh, this is a Nintendo Switch controller, but just a toad mushroom controller that glows. Um, wired, so nothing crazy there, but it is just a sick controller, man. I have not used it very much. So I don't want to like wear it down. This is one of those pieces that I might just, well, I have been just displaying and I may just continue to do so. Definitely one of my favorite controller pickups, this Nintendo Switch Toe controller. Another one from the from the pawn shop. I'm trying to think, is that everything Mario? Anything else Mario? What the hell is that? The family got me a Mario lamp for Father's Day. I know you probably can't, I don't feel like moving it, but it's there. And this Nabbit. This is another figure. But I do believe that's everything, Mario. We can stop now. It's, that's Even if it's not, that's probably enough, Mario. That's gonna do it for this week. In the comments below, be sure to tell me what is your favorite pickup from this year. Is it a new game? Is it an old game? Is it something you're playing right now? Let me know in the comments. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you and your family. I hope 2024 brings you nothing but success and good things. A very special thank you to those of you who've been watching the videos throughout the year. I appreciate you taking the time out to check me pick up a whole bunch of nostalgia and, and a bunch of stuff that I, I don't know, man, just a bunch of stuff. And it's been a lot of fun picking it up. So thank you for taking the time out to watch. I truly do appreciate you. Um, if this is new to you, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys, go.